Over the winter months, Minnesota's windswept prairies may look barren, but economists and energy experts see an abundant natural resource. Well, uh, wind is the resource that we have, and uh, it isn't every day that an economic development opportunity comes along on the scale of this one. And it's, it's pretty clear that uh, before very long, the state of Minnesota is going to be rich in wind turbines. They're going to be everywhere. Well, just to start, you know, think about our energy dollar in Minnesota. We spend something like $15 billion a year on energy, most of that imported from other places. If we took that amount of money and circulated it by investing in Minnesota-produced energy, we would be spending all that money on local manufacturers, on local suppliers, on local construction workers, on local jobs, and put thousands of people to work powering our economy, producing energy, and we could actually be net energy exporters in Minnesota. A 2009 Minnesota 2020 report found that increasing the wind capacity to comply with the state's renewable energy standard will power 1 million homes, generate 2,200 jobs, and pump $10 billion into the state economy over the next 15 years. Well, I mean, the whole western and southern part of the state has got tremendous resource. I mean, I think I've seen numbers where we could produce 17 times what we consume with wind power of electricity. And so, I mean, the, the resource is here. It's the ability to get the energy to the consumer is the tricky part, and we're running into that right now. Transmission has been an issue for development of large wind farms and getting that power to the market. They've been building big wind farms out here in, in the western part of the state and in the Dakotas, and all of that power needs to flow east to the load center, Minneapolis, Chicago. And so the development that's occurred in the last 10 years has basically bottled up the transmission system to where it's a real problem. But we have lots of smaller projects that can come online quickly while we're waiting for the large transmission lines to be built. And in the interim, we still want to keep moving towards sustainability in our energy resource. And so we use distributed generation and we plug in power where we can until the big wires can get built. Mm -hmm. 